What's going on my welty family and welcome back. Today's tutorial we're going to be doing some TIG welding 101 walking the cup on the overhead position. A lot of people have been asking me to do this. They've been getting very uncomfortable uh, saying that the shoulder hurts and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you different ways to do that and the walking the cup method as well. I know I'm ready to weld. Are you? Let's get to it. Alright well to family, we have this plate tacked up in the overhead position. I know you have seen my uh, TIG welding 101 walking the cup tutorial on the flat position. Now that was a very basic tutorial if you're just starting out. So I recommend before you go to overhead something like this, you learn the basics of TIG welding walking the cup on the flat horizontal vertical uh, parts of it. Okay, now we're working on the overhead. A lot of people tend on three things, have trouble slipping, their arms are hurting, the wrist is hurting, you know, it's, it's very tense, and uh, they tend to stick a lot, right? So, and people tend to go a little bit faster as well because it's overhead, they think it's gonna drip on them, it's not gonna happen, all right? So, the machine that we're using is the Miller XMT 304, all right, I'm running at around 175 amps. Um, I drew me two guidelines right here with the grinder, very simple. So what I'm gonna show you is different techniques on how to walk this cup on here okay my technique what I like to do is make sure you have a sharp tungsten that's the main thing very sharp tungsten have about a half inch stick out okay and um, I like me a, a flex neck okay 17 FV flex neck make sure of that sometimes you don't have the probability of having those but uh, it is what it is guys but I recommend these right here as well okay uh, <clears throat> ER7S2 yes, filler wire 1 8 um, ER7 ES6 is good as well, whatever y'all prefer, but this is what I do. Make sure if you're going to tack it up overhead, there is nothing in your way right here, okay? So I tacked it up right here. I want to make sure there's nothing in my way right in this section. Now I'm going to show you three ways of how to walk this cup, okay? Here's this way, which is the common way, how you should learn how to do it, okay? You're here, you're walking it all the way through, okay? Taking your time. Now make sure your plate is super clean, no mill scale at all, alright guys, you already know it's going to mess up when it comes to hilly arc, all the way like that. There's also holding it from the side as well, like this, holding it from here, coming across, okay, all the way through, and there's also holding it this way, here, right in front of it having the handle in front of you, not behind you no more. I mean, in front of you, not behind your arm no more. And you're coming across like this as well, okay? These are three different ways which I recommend knowing how to do all these three because uh, if I'm brother-in-law with somebody, if y'all don't know what brother-in-law is, if you're basic to this, it's when somebody's beside you welding the same plate or same pipe or whatever the case may be, okay? If he's in front of me and we want to start together on the pipe or plate, I would recommend welding like this. Why? So he can start right here and I won't be in his way. Okay, if that makes sense. If I'm like this, he's gonna have to wait until I get to about here in order for him to start, right? So I learned this when I was in the field as well. You know, hey man, I wanna start already, but you're in my way. So I had to adjust to that, that specific uh, part of walking the cup, all right? So now, what I'm gonna do is show you how to hold the filler rod, okay? I like to feed like this, okay? I don't know if y'all see. I like to feed using my thumb, all right? So when I'm up here, I don't have the rod straight flat like this. I have it about 10 to 15 degree angle, maybe 20 degrees. Don't quote me on that. Just, just have an angle on there, all right? Because if you have it like this and start walking the cup, it's going to want to tend to bubble up on your puddle and stick on there, stick on your tungsten. Make sure you have an angle just like this, all right? On everything that you do, rather it be flat, horizontal, vertical, overhead, make sure you have an angle like this, all right? So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to show you three different ways on how to walk this cup. And all three different ways that I'm gonna do it comes out with the same type of, of, of finished product. All right, comes with the same way. So I'm gonna show you basic way, intermediate way, and the hard way, which is like this. But some people are different. This might be the easy way. This might be the intermediate way. This might be the hard way. It's just the way it is. Now when it comes to the weave pattern, right? You already know there's the tight weaves, there's the loose weaves, and there's the medium weaves, right? Doesn't matter. As long as you throw a consistent bead, that's fine. But make sure to grind some guidelines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you right now with the filler metal, okay? Having them filler metal right in the middle between uh, the two uh, guidelines and just guiding it across. Now the main important thing you have to understand when you're welding the cup, walking the cup overhead, 
is your wrist and your arm has to be as light as a feather. Now I know it can't be. You want to have a little bit of tension on there if you know, but you don't want to be having so much tension because by the time you get to the middle part, you're going to be tired and you're going to want to stop. Now imagine a 76 inch pipe or whatever the case may be, you're going to be in the bottom for a long time. So make sure you have that wrist, that flow on your wrist, on your arm or whatever the case may be to make sure it's be very, very light. Do not go in there tense because if you're tense, you know, you're going to slip every single time. You're going to slip. Make sure it's super light, super light. Relax yourself and you're gonna come across. Relax, 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 the relax. The more relaxed you are in your body, I can go from here to here all the way to the end without feeling any type of tension on my wrist or arm because I don't have no tension there because I wanna make it as light as possible for me. The more tension you have, especially because your arm's overhead, you're gonna get tired, all right? Other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and start welding. I'm gonna show you the basic, uh, uh, intermediate, and advanced way how to walk the cup on the overhead position. Let's get to it. So, like I said, you want to keep your filler rod right in the middle of the puddle. You know, you're not moving the rod at all. It looks like I'm backing it up, but I'm not. Just want to relax your wrist and go all the way. I'm running at about 35. Uh, CFH, 2% lanthanated tungsten. Just want to relax your wrist, relax your body, and you'll be fine. Now 
Keep in mind guys, I'm using the ER70S2. That's what we use here, it's more realistic. It's kind of trashy, but I mean, it is what it is. Like I said, it's good to know all three. But if you're comfortable just one way, then I mean, that's good for you. And also, I'm going to show you how to stack your beads as well. All right, my well to family, there you have it. Walk in the cup on the overhead position. I hope y'all learned something, and if y'all did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel down low. And also, guys, I just want to shout out to all our sponsors that make WellTube happen. I appreciate y'all very much. All right, guys, remember, burn, learn, and eventually, y'all gonna earn. Y'all have a good one.